Hi again, this is the Eco Local Guy. It's July 31st, 2011, and we're today uh, going up Hadley Mountain, which is in the northeastern, northwestern corner of Saratoga County, New York State. Uh, it's a really nice hike with a fantastic view up on top, also very popular. So uh, let's take a look. This is the midsection of the hike, and uh, Hadley has some very thin soil. So as you can see, there's a lot of rock slab which is easy for traction and uh, a nice pleasant uh, almost like a paved walk as you head on up. So we're about halfway there and we'll see you at the top. Some of the flora and fauna. Oh look, there's Chewy the dog. She's working at it pretty good here as we climb on up. How you doing, Brenda? Are you fine? Great. Looking forward to the breeze I hear on top. That's on top. <laughs> yep, we got a lot of folks that are coming down telling us the view is beautiful. Here's one of the uh, turns on the way up. You'll see some giant rocks scattered about. These are called glacial erratics. They're giant boulders that were pushed down the mountain by a glacier. So they're scattered throughout the woods. Pretty interesting. I was getting a little tuckered out. Looking for a cool spot. Looking for a cool spot, right? Not too much water right now, but uh, we'll find some up on top, hopefully. <laughs> and a close up of these glacial erratics. Hey, here we are about two-thirds of the way up, about ready to crest the ridge. Just a few more rocks will take us up to a flat where we get a glimpse of the summit and a nice little breeze, which at this point in time is well received because it was pretty much a straight uphill hike to this point. There's even a convenient resting rock here for those that want to take a break. But then off into the distance, you can see, well, sometimes you can see down into the valley and over to the ridge, but it's a little bit dense right now. The ridge up here is quite flat, so it gives you a nice little break before you actually have to climb the summit ridge, which is coming up shortly. Here we are at the summit of Hadley Mountain. There's the fire tower. And we're about to see the big vista out to Sacandaga Lake. Here's the panorama at the summit of Hadley Mountain. Sacandaga Lake. Here you got the fire tower. And then there's a steward up here this year named Ross. And he's spending the summer as an interpretive guy, helping people understand the value of conservation here in the Adirondacks. So you spin around the rest of the panorama. Okay, up the fire tower we go.
Oh, it's getting better and better. Whoa, look at this. Yeah, definitely, because there's a lot of a lot of raspberries. Here we are from the view on top of the fire tower at Hadley Mountain. About six o'clock. Absolutely gorgeous. July 31st, 2011. And here at the summit cabin is our steward for the year. Ross from SUNY Potsdam. Yeah, and we, we got a great day today. I mean, you can uh, you can faintly see the high peaks, so it's, you know. High you, peaks to the north here? To the north here. We're looking at about a 50 plus mile, mileage range here. Um, as if you look out, you see the first, first range here. And then if you look to the second range, it's the bigger mountain closest to us, that's Crane. And it dips down into a saddle to your left. And faintly in the haze out there, you'll be able to see a little peak. Yep. That's Algonquin. A oh, way past uh, Crane? Yeah, way past Crane, down to the left. Like it, You can faintly see it. It looks like a little tiny black. I see it pyramid. barely in this yeah. camera. We can't really see it. Yep. Oops. There's and Crane then, right there. Oops. Crane, and then you go down into to the right of Crane, and then it goes into a V with Moose. And if you look off into the haze as oh, well, oh, we can see here. some peaks off there, right? Yep, that's the uh, eastern high peaks so, up uh, Lake Placid region, uh, Saranac Lake. So, I mean, we're we're seeing a distance from here. We can uh, we can really see uh, see a ways. So, Ross, you're spending the summer up here, right? I am. And uh, what is the purpose of this summer steward program? Uh, I take environmental studies at SUNY Potsdam, and uh, during your uh, after your junior year, you have to do an internship, and I chose to do mine with the uh, with the DEC and uh, the volunteer committee that actually restored the tower. It makes it possible for us to uh, be here, and um, yeah, I, I, my duties up here are to interpret the history of the park and the towers to the public, and um, do some trail maintenance, trailhead maintenance, uh, anything going wrong with the tower or the cabin. I, uh, I try to fix up and uh, yeah, I mean, so I keep an eye on the place and make sure it's uh, presentable. You know it. And safe for the public to come on up and enjoy. You know it. Fantastic. Now, right here, we've got actually a, a map of some sort. Can you explain this? This is, uh, this is the map table that um, it's a topographic map and it shows elevations through contour lines. And um, this is uh, this is the Alidade. It actually pops right out here, and um, it's a swing arm around a 360 degree map table. You have mileage going out on the Alidade, and uh, this is this would be what the observers use to to pinpoint fires, pretty much. Oh, so you could sight a smoke. Yep. And so uh, radio it down perhaps to its location based on the map right here. Huh? Exactly. Exactly. That's fabulous. So if there were, let's say for an example, a, a fire at Omer Mountain, which is to the southwest of us, the observer at the time would then point the Alladade straight as to where the smoke was coming up at, where he thought the fire would be. And you're using the contour lines to really get to, to your mileage. And I'm going to estimate it about four, four miles out at 50, 51 degrees southwest. That would be my coordinate on the fire. If I were the observer at the time, I would then radio that in to dispatch. There would be a landline coming straight up the mountain, straight up the air. Radio that in. There would have to be another tower seeing the same fire and radioing their coordinates in to be able to triangulate the uh, the fire and uh, be able to uh, combat it a little bit more efficiently, put it out as soon as possible. And uh, when was the last time this tower was used as a fire uh, observatory? Uh, 1990. No 1990. kidding. David Dietz was the man. He was the last uh, he was fire uh, observatory. Uh, observer? Observer, yes. He lived in the cabin with his wife, and they had a huge garden out front. Really? He used the root cellar as well, and uh, yeah, they, uh, they were the last people here. Now, was Hadley the last fire tower in operation, or were there others that uh, stayed on? Um, in 1990 was really the last year that they 
cut it all off. You know, right. This is when the fire towers were seen as obsolete altogether, and every single one was boom, it was done. Right. They were gone. And uh, in 1995, five years later, the tower was then restored by the by the volunteer committee. So. Fabulous. Yeah. So it, it's, it's you're also uh, a steward of history here as well. Yeah. Yes. Of you know, course. Of the fire tower legacy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You and know. I think it's it's wonderful that we have this resource here in the Adirondacks, uh, particularly accessible. I mean, here in northern Saratoga County, we're what not even probably an hour's drive from a major population of the Albany Capital District, right? Uh, uh, yeah. That's very true. Yes. Excellent. How many uh, folks do you think you come up here um, on an average weekend? It seems to be a pretty busy place. Um, I would say on an average average day, we're yeah. looking at 30 people right? at least. Um, an average weekend, and I'm going to say a weekend is uh, Friday through Sunday night, we're looking at maybe 200 people plus. That's, that's a solid weekend. Wow. That's a solid weekend. There's been times where I'm up on the summit here, all the rocks you can see, filled with people. We're talking... I don't know, 150 people. Wow. It's kind of a great place for a picnic, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's great. You know, people come up, and that's what they do. They have their lunch here and, you know, enjoy their time, see, see the scenery. And, and, of course, the view is what oh, really draws view, people up here. Oh, yes, it's, you know, it's a fire tower. It was chosen as a fire tower for a reason, right? It, can, it has a great view. It can see for miles. So, oh, yeah. And certainly it is gorgeous. Awesome. It's, it's great.